right. All right. And another person I'm rolling with is Snoop Doggy Dog. Damn. Damn. Snoop Doggy Dog. I heard this in the news and I another said. Another one. We got a you don't hear nobody there. have no problems with Snoop. So if anybody come out and say they got a problem, I'm going with Snoop. I'm going with Snoop. You know, everybody can mess up one time. No, or another, I'm going though. with Snoop. I'm not going with anybody until no. I hear the rest of, and receive. Well, it depends on who the person is. No, I'm going to be outstanding back. And just looking. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. You're right. You're right. You don't know. Now, he could Snoop Dogg to do something. Yeah, he can be high and do something, mess up. <laughs> Snoop! I was high, now, man. I didn't know. Before I talk about him him and Master P suing Walmart, uh-huh. he got a thing going on with him and um Suge. What's going on? Suge <laughs> know better. Suge, you know, Suge is in jail and he got that little show I he thought doing. he got out. No, Suge is in jail. He got a little show going on. Now, you know, he's still upset that Snoop Dogg bought um, Death, Death Row. Uh-huh. So, um, something went, Snoop said, some, I mean, um, Suge said something, whatever. And somebody asked Snoop or whatever. And he said, I'm praying for the brother. In uh-huh. other words, he feels sorry for me praying for him. We read it later. Uh-huh. I feel sorry for him. We praying for him. Don't okay? worry about me. Just keep talking. I know, but. I'm just blazing that stuff. Yeah. But I'm hearing you. So, you're doing what Elaine's boyfriend did in, that, in uh, Seinfeld. I'm looking around and I'm <laughs> reading, catching something and I'm still looking at their faces. All right. Okay. So, um, eh, what else saying? So, oh, anyway, so Snoop was there. Um, what do you make a face for? Because you didn't have to do that, and you threw yourself off. You don't worry about me. Just keep talking. You 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 came over to look at me and and try to give me direction on what to look at and not to look at. That's why you threw yourself yeah. off. Yeah. So pick yourself back up. Stupid girl, I can't stand her. <laughs> How you doing? If you oh, sit there doing the story with that's somebody, your audience, the people in the chat, I ain't. I can I can even do this while you're talking. But if you're talking and the person sitting next to you is like this, what do you care about me doing that? Because it grows part people off. It shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead. Um, Snoop, he he said, feel sorry for him, kind of. Why? Why is he mad at him? And he's not just whatever. So uh-huh. then, um, Shug said he got mad. Tell him you praying for me. Uh, uh, you. Uh, uh, he get over us. He said, "Pray for yourself. Quit telling what you praying for me. You can't you tell me what to pray for. Right? I'm gonna pray for who I want to pray for. You got a lot of stuff going on in your house. So then he releases a photo of Snoop's wife on a vacation with another man in Hawaii. Oh, you need to worry about what's no. going on there. Quit worrying about what's going on That's here. Mean. I said, Lord have mercy. And then Snoop replied back to some again along the lines, "I'm still, I still pray. I'm for still him. praying for you. <laughs> Don't pray for me. Pray for yourself." <laughs> If his wife was uh, born as, uh, she deserved it as much as Snoop had been sleeping with everybody in their mind. I know. She want to go to Hawaii with some man yeah. and let her go Shoot. to. Let but her. anyway, and Snoop probably know about it. Yeah. Whatever it is, he probably said, I didn't did you so bad. Oh, God, You yeah. probably, I, you didn't probably have several boyfriends with all the stuff. Well, I, I was on the road. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Same as okay. with these basketball players But for stuff. some reason, I thought Suge was released. No. I thought he was pardoned. No. Okay. So anyway, Snoop Dogg and Master P are suing Walmart. Right. I heard about They're it. They're cereal, mm-hmm. and I agree with this. You know why I agree with this? Why? I ordered um, um, groceries online mm-hmm. from Walmart. hmm Every time I try to get his uh, cereal, it says unavailable. See? And this, a couple of black people went into Walmarts. Mm-hmm. And this one black man, he went live or whatever. And he said, hey, um, I'm looking for something or whatever. And they let him back in the stock room. Now, we went back in the stock room. We was looking for something for the yard, remember, mm-hmm. at Ace Hardware. Yes. And they do let you if you would say you're looking for something. Thank you. So he went back there. He said, I'm going to look and see if Snoop cereal Cause it's not out on the floor. Mm-hmm. Boxes and boxes of it. And their reason? They haven't given one. Shame. 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 Walmart. Now, guess who his attorney is? Oh Lord, not the guy over the black the six. Big Crump. Yeah, you won. He won. He won. He won. It's like um. Back in what was his name before he passed away? Uh, Johnny Cochran. Johnny Cochran. Anybody who walk in with Johnny Cochran at that time, you so won. You Matt, won. So I'll be afraid to be any kind of prosecutor. Now, uh, Crump, uh, he won. He won. Uh, lawyer Benjamin Crump called it a blatant disregard of black-owned business. If we could, if we could. 
Go ahead. In a statement, both companies point to low sales of the product. Walmart said it was a strong history of supporting entrepreneurs and many factors affect the sales of any given product. Meanwhile, the Post says we were equally disappointed that consumer demand did not meet expectations. Now, Snoop Dogg and Master P founded their own food company, mm -hmm. um, Brodus Foods, mm -hmm. in 2022. Yes. According to its website, it produced breakfast cereals, pancake mm -hmm. mix, maple syrup, and more. Now, no, when those it was chips, wasn't no, those different chips? Yeah, that's rap, uh, rap chips. Oh, rap now, chips. Okay, sorry. Before his stuff was under another company, a white company, Ooh. and his boxes was all out there all the time. Now, all of a sudden, since 2022, when they decide to take the ownership of their own product, yeah, it's in the back stock rooms now. And they can't find it. I wonder how they found out. People was going like with people like me. Why is it never? Why can't I never get this cereal? Walmart, going, what's going on? Walmart. So then I told you a couple of black people went in the back and they shot video boxes and boxes of it. Why is that not on the floor? He asked the manager at the store. He said, "We don't make the decision. Corporate makes the right, decision." Corporate. He said, I, "We they give us the skews. Mm -hmm. They tell us put right. these skews out." And he's out. right. He's right. Above, and above. So the yeah, black man was it. like, "All right, we ain't gonna tackle you." So. Ben Crump was saying he was kind of giving the allusion, alluding to uh, boycotting Walmart. Now, I'm not going to boycott Walmart. I I'm will sorry. if I have to. I won't. I will. I will if I have to. Because that can mess it up for any of these people that's in our chat room has a product. Yeah. Or any of us have a product. Like we did apartheid for uh, South Africa. If you are treating black owned businesses, food, hair, clothing, any black one, they represent black. I know. Owned. I know. I but will boycott. My, I can go to Target. I can go to. Uh, there's a lot of stores that sell with Walmart. Walmart is not the end all product. You know that. There are so many there's other a lot of places because we get stuff from Amazon. There's a lot of places in small towns. That's all they have. Is I'm Walmart. sorry. I'm sorry. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm ready, Crump, if you say it. I hope they win this lawsuit because I did hear I hope they through just the settle. grapevine. I hope they settle. Yeah, I do too. But I'm hearing through the grapevine. Here's the one thing that I really wanted to go the way of the boycott. We haven't done that since civil rights movement. Do you see how powerful yeah, we are yeah. as 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 business as 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 um what do you call it when we purchase things? If anybody could do it, it would be Ben Crump. The big dollar. If is... anybody could do it, it would be Ben Crump, right. Snoop Dogg, because everybody loves Snoop Dogg yes. and Master P. And for the reasons that they're doing it, yeah, it's a cereal that right. they created, You're right? That since they took over, now it's, you can't find it. So. Any black person that owns any kind of product who even wants their stuff in Walmart will go. You're right. Okay. So we'll see. So we'll see. Now, this is separate, but it's still part of the same thing. Okay. Remember how Mega was boycotting Budweiser? Yeah, cause because they had they're transgender. LGBT, yeah. You heard about this, Ma? That Mega people boycotted Budweiser beer. Because they had the transgender guy on there. On the can. Right. Yes. Promoting it. Right. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't stand it. They showed themselves shooting it, firing, and right. blowing up the beer and everything. <laughs> well, we talked about, we started off this show talking about how Trump is the only person saying it's an insurrection. <laughs> okay. Now, he supports Budweiser beer. He said, don't be hard on him. Because the, it wasn't, it was one part, you know, that made the decision. And they've learned their lesson. And everybody went, why is he changing? Guess why? Why? They getting ready to do a campaign uh, rally for him. And they're paying for it. And they're giving him millions of dollars on his um, campaign. So now all of a sudden, Budweiser's good. And the mega people's heads are exploding. They don't know what to do. They don't know. Should we drink Budweiser? Should we not drink Budweiser? They they don't know what they call me. It's like it's like Jim Jones. That's not should compute. I drink the Kool Aid or That's not? not compute. What mom? They're going around in circles. Does, the tree. They don't know what's not doing. compute. Does not compute. Yeah, they felt the like the people on Jonestown when he said drink the Kool Aid. Uh huh. Should I drink Budweiser beer or should I not? Some people was um um in the middle of that drinking it. Some people were like scared, and some people went right to it. I think that you guys, I'm talking straight to mega people, mm -hmm. Trump supporters. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and drink Budweiser beer. Your cult leader told you to. And drink the cans that has the transgender guy on there. Because they can't throw those out. Those will still be in the store. Yeah. Support yeah. your leader. 
your commander in chief yes. that wants to be. Yeah. Okay. So your cult leader tells you to go ahead and drink Budweiser. Go ahead and drink it. <laughs> no, you did. Cult leader. <laughs> because now you even look dumber. Yeah. To the rest of the world. Yeah. When you sat there and talked about them, said you're going to put them out of business. Mm -hmm. You talked about them having like like in transgenders. Mm -hmm. You did videos of you shooting the beer, mm -hmm. dumping it off of bridges, <laughs> stomping on it, running your cars over and it. And that's making America great again. And now because they're giving millions of dollars to come over, they not so bad. They not so bad. <laughs> Money changes. Woo! Which means he can be bought. Oh, God. Hmm. Dummies. All right, let's go back up. Um, um, I don't know. Y'all went so far, I may not be able to go all back, back up. I don't know. I think you can catch up. Let me see. Why don't you? You've been following along while I was talking. Can I say this? Money is going to destroy Trump. Yeah. It's not prison. It's money. You yeah. left off with Emerald. She starts talking and she's turned out. I think Jasmine made her comment. So is Monique just supposed to be quiet? We mm -hmm. said no. Just kind of speak with a more, right, a right. more loving heart. Um, oh, Kim okay. So Kimberly says she's, she's exhausting. Yeah. Emma says she is blackballing herself with her ongoing rants. And all she does is keep adding to the list. Um, and then Wendy says hard to find Patty's food too. Oh. See? If Crump comes back... And says, let's take a moment to leave Walmart alone. I want Walmart. Kim, here's the thing, too. I know it's going to hurt a lot of cities and areas that only have Walmart. Because there's dollar stores, too. Dollar Generals are popping up everywhere. Down the street from um, Walmart. So hopefully Dollar But they Gen need fruit and vegetables. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But for that moment, I want people in this country to see how powerful our dollars are. Yeah. Our voting is. Black women put Biden in office. Yeah. So we got to show people our dollar is powerful. Yeah, it is. So go ahead. So let's see if they, if they, um, let's, let's see where this goes. Okay. My thought is, I think they're going to settle. Okay. And I think to you're going to start that. seeing, yeah. you're going to start seeing, um, mm -hmm. their cereal out. Cause I wanted that's to try That's a it. simple fix. That's a, don't you think with Walmart, that's a, a uh, the top level we're sorry. That's a simple fix. We're sorry. And get rid of fire whoever it was that wasn't making it happen. Thank you. Publicly he fire him. to go. Thank you. Or, or, she. or she. Publicly fire him. Let ben Crump will come out and make a statement. They settled. They gave him the money. And they if you go there, back on the now you'll see Snoop Dogg and Master and that cereal. Will that, and the floodgates will open because people will be like, damn, I want to try this cereal. Right. I didn't even know it was Then all there. of a sudden, everything in Walmart is going to be black. Auntie Bet's uh, uh, pancake mix. Look, uh, if it's selling. Jerome's uh, syrup. If it's selling. Uh, Tyrone's uh, they pass the off. FDA, whatever the group is. <laughs> that, <laughs> right, right. That, 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 no, but then they're going to overcompensate. See how they do? They'll do one thing and then they'll overcompensate and then white people be like, okay, so now what? They got Is this a black a Harlem no, they got a store? black section only? Like they tried to do the LGBTQ section in Target. Would black people be mad if it was a black section? You'll get some on both sides. Because there's a Latino section. There uh, for food? Yeah, there is a Hispanic That's uh, true. With black people, would y'all come in? Would y'all be mad if Walmart did an African American section? Where the whole row is black owned businesses and their stuff. Well, or would you feel like that's wrong? Because now if I I gotta why can't I be next to um um what's her name? Uh Pancake. Oh uh, Angel uh, Mama uh, or whatever. Yeah. It's not Angel Mama no more. Uh, General yeah, Mills. Yeah. Why can't I be next to General Mills? Well, Pancake? Sound, why I gotta be in the black section? You sound like Jeffrey Wright in his movie, so American you're right. Fiction. You're right. You're he right. didn't want to be clunky. You're right. He's okay with being you're right. in the black authors, but he wanted to be also you're right. I'm, so a, never I'm, mind. Just, I'm an author who happens to be black. I answered my I answered already. Okay. Because there's no such thing as black food. Yeah. There is Mexican food. Yeah. So authentic. you could literally have a Mexican and, and Asian. Chinese, you can have Filipino. an Asian section, yeah, uh -huh. you can because that's the food, yes. But if you say black, what's, <laughs> what's black? black food? Country? Is it gonna be fried down, chicken down in there? South, so that's I southern, agree. That's I southern, agree. And southern I agree. is any color, you're right, you're right. Okay, then the gay, are we gonna have a gay section? So, any oh. businesses owned by gay guys, <laughs> they, they all get to have their own. So, you're right, I already answered it. Y'all don't even need to say yeah. nothing, yeah. Yep, um, let's see. Um, and that's like how when I bought my boots. What? It was 
the boots that I bought was supporting the LGBTQ, and I didn't know because it had a little rainbow on it. Oh, it had a little rainbow symbol. Oh, yeah. But it's mixed in with all the boots at DSW. Yeah, you don't. And know. at DSW, I'm going to get what's inexpensive. Right. But Go you ahead. do have the rainbow is now gay. I know. Right. I didn't know it was on my boots. And then you got that and hairstyle. Those boots are so comfortable. <laughs> So comfortable. Go ahead. What? <laughs> you got this hair with your head shaved and gay boots. Oh, who cares? I know. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> you think I'm gay? So what? Come on to me. I would be offended if you didn't. Why you don't want to talk to Remember me? Remember they came to one of our <laughs> friends. They thought she was. They was following her. We was at a, a woman's the, in, in a WNBA game. Yeah. And they was following her. But why her? Trying not to pick me. her up. Why you ain't trying you to pick me up? You sound like, um, um what's her name on uh, Golden Girls? Yeah. She, uh, Blanche. She got mad because the gay lady was coming after Bob. Yeah. Uh, um, um, Betty's character. Yeah. She, I'm a gorgeous woman. Why she didn't come at me? Thank you. <laughs> you get up. <laughs> why was why her and not why me? Why her and not me? Yeah, you're right. All right, go ahead. Go to your thing. What's this? Quickly, I don't know if you guys had a chance to see the underdogs. This movie that you, did um, you see? It? I saw it. Was it good? Um, I, <laughs> it's it's Snoop Dogg. I like the storyline. Where is it? It's on? one of those underdog things. Like the Amazon Prime look like Prime. Okay. Yeah. Um, I saw people on Facebook talking back and forth about it though because. We know Snoop, we know Michael Epps, and, and the grown-ups. Right. They gonna cuss. Right. They gonna smoke. They gonna whatever. The kids is cursing now. <laughs> they got the kids saying F you and blah, 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 and saying the, the man's size and stuff. And I'm sitting there going, ooh, I was a little uncomfortable. But I'm like, okay, <laughs> I know kids do talk this oh, way. This is a- not like, ooh, la, la, land. Yeah, I didn't, I, I didn't come out. from under a rock. Yeah. Some of them cuss better than grown-ups. Yeah, everybody cuss But now. I think people have pros and cons on Facebook on their view on that because one person said, I tried to watch it, but I couldn't. I, I didn't like the disrespect of the kids and their language. Okay. Another person said, Snoop is telling this is what he does for real. And he's just kind of sharing what he does as a coach, mm-hmm. as a football coach that kids do. They're real. They're, they're like, just like everybody else. They're, they're going to talk the, the mess and, and talk the mess on the field. And then you as a grown up, you just got a, you know, clear mm-hmm. way of it. And don't be so surprised. Right. Another person said, it must be for the money, cause what parents would sign off for their 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 eleven year old or their to, to do all of that? But if the kid and cuss talk in messy. real life, well, they're actors. But like, I'm saying, are the, these real kids from the hood? Yeah, I'm saying if the kid in real life, not even even actor, cusses mm-hmm. in real life, the parent probably was like, "What's the big deal?" This would probably be a question for Wendy, being in the in the theater, you know, world. Kids have been in some very controversial movies where mm-hmm. if whether it's something sexual yeah. or whether it's their what they're saying, but how do you show real life if it's not them doing real life? Wendy says it depends on what they're selling. So yeah. if they're selling the kids in the hood, then I guess they're gonna be careful. These are kids they didn't really sell. Yeah, because of the neighborhood that they came from. Yeah, yeah I guess. But a lot of people, it was funny hearing pros and cons about that. Some people were like, I didn't want to watch the rest of it. I turned away. Another person said, I watched it, but I was uncomfortable. Watching the kids cuss. Yeah, the kids was just boom, 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 boom. Telling, even cussing at him, calling him, you know. And he, you know Snoop going to come back. But you kind of like, ooh, he's only 11. He's only 10. Yeah. So, but it was, I liked the movie. It was a good movie if you can get. Past the, the past the profanity. Well, I think that's the future. So you might as well get used to it. I think you're gonna start seeing kids cussing. Yeah, they're gonna do more of it. It is what it is. It is what it is. So okay, if you but can I get past to, it, like y'all you said, watch it if it doesn't bother you, but go ahead. All right, so that was Snoop Dogg in his new movie. The underdog. And it's on Prime. Yep, Prime Plus. All right, this lady. 